Hi there, Uncle Laurie here, back with another Shave video. And today is Sunday, still winter here, still pretty, well, not very cold, but no, on the chilly side. Overcast today, but not a bad day. I went for a walk earlier on and it was quite pleasant. Nice temperature for walking. Okay, what are we doing today? Well, we're going with black ship grooming. Two bits, it's called. I love the labels they have. The pirate theme on all their soaps. At least I think it's on all their soaps. So it comes in these sort of um, six or eight ounce tubs, I think. And, it, and they have a little plastic seal on top. That's the paw. Nice whitish pour there. The scent, it's not a strong scent. It's a fresh barbershop style scent. And reminds me of something else, probably in my collection. I don't know what it is, can't remember. Can't place it. But it's not a strong scent off the puck. So we see how it goes on the, the lather build. And what we're we using with that, we're going with the the body brush. There's no logo on it. But it's a body handle with an AP shave uh, forks horse synthetic horse hair, not 24mm, set to 54 or no 54? 52. 52 millimeter loft. So we'll just stick that in my little soaker to get wet. And we're staying, or the last shave for the week, on our Hanson Medium. The copper color. I really like this color. It's sort of like a copper gold color, rather than straight copper. And in there, I've got the four fuse on my Gillette, if I can find it. The Gillette Saloon Pack, which is uh, made in uh, India. If you don't have that red bit on the bottom, it's more than likely made in China. You don't want them. I found them terrible. So. Uh, what else are we using? A bowl. We're going with the plastic soup bowl with the non-stick slipper. Non-stick. Non-slip sticker from a shower sticker in the bottom to give it some um, agitation. And we'll get to and put the pre-shave on. Pre-shave we, we're using is the Suet Sico Shave Cream, Brushless Shave Cream. And yes, you could probably shave, but it doesn't foam up very well. So a good amount. Just trying to use it up. I've got plenty of these brushless creams that I want to use up. So it's a, a mentholated eucalyptus type scent. So I'll just wet it, rub it in to the beard. It's about uh, two days growth. Two and a bit, I think. Okay, without further ado, we'll go across there to do the um, leather cam and produce the leather. We're here at leather cam, and as you can see, I've got uh, my half level teaspoon. So to make it level, I just scrape it on the side on the, on the bowl, like that. 
and just put the, a little bit back there. So it's about two and a half grams, I would think. If you want to go by weight. You can use less if you want, or you can use more. It's up to you, your soap. So I'll just give this a brush, a squeeze and a shake. And you can see it's just moist, or damp, and just start swirling. This is a big soup bowl. to hang on to it. Turn that soap into a sort of a slurry paste. Sorry, it's In these videos, I prefer to use the ones with handles, the bowls. So that's looking pretty nice. So we'll start adding water now. Start with three. Three mil. that sticker on the bottom and you need to use the tips oh. three four I think that one It's the same as it's still light scent. I wouldn't call it anything more than a four out of ten scent strength. Another three. Just shows you don't need a, an expensive bowl. Uh, if you don't want to pay for one, you just use what's handy. Soup bowl. Now this is a plastic bowl. Not mine. Plastic. that shine now already so I'll just bring it to 15 15 seems to be my standard for half a teaspoon let's see how that goes right. looking pretty good Okay, we're back from that um, wonderful lather build. And this is what the lather looks like. Absolutely gorgeous. Not a strong scent. Maybe three, four out of ten scent strength. It's a fresh, clean scent. So uh, we'll just re-wet the face. Put some alum on my fingers. And we'll 
we'll start the application. Oh, it's lovely. Just take a bit off the brush. Look at that coverage and shine. This is a great soap. This is the Kato base, which is the newer base. So I'll just uh, put the uh, soap ingredients and scent description here. Okay, let's get the razor, dip it in the water, and get started. This is a blade on its fourth use, still feels just as good as it was on the first pass. I don't know how many passes I can get out of this blade, but um, no problem with four shaves. No tucking. Oh, that was a wonderful first pass. Pretty did that pretty quick, I think. I'm very confident with this razor now. Very slick. Although I'm, I've still probably got a bit of pre-shave on there. So the next pass will test the leather, but uh, it looks really nice and shiny. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't want any more water, it's already flying off the brush. This knot on uh, the um, synthetic pony is pretty nice. I do like my AP shave knots. I know they all come from probably China, but they seem to select the right fibers. I might just put a touch more alum on. Do this one in the camera if we can. You should be able to hear the nice feedback there. All right, I'll go back on the side. Uh, 
It's pretty late afternoon here, about 5 o'clock, I think, 5, 5.30. slickness there. This is a great base. Very slick, a lot of residual. Mm, very nice. Just wish the scent was a bit stronger. I wouldn't call it any more than the 3 out of 10 on this one. Okay, final pass. Yeah, the scent's a bit light. Should have faded a bit during the shave. All right. Like I said earlier in the week, um, the Henson predefines the angle, which creates that angle there creates a 30 degree angle on the blade. According to the Henson website. grooming should be seen a bit more you shave it a days I reckon it's a quality soap as good as anything in the same price range I think it's $16 American for a tub Four ounce top. Is that a weeper? That's very nice. I don't think I created any weepers. Looks pretty good. Let's feel on the face. There's still plenty of slickness there. Do the touch-ups, a little bit under the jawline as normal. Just a touch on the jaw. 
or the chin. Yeah. The stash will be fine. Look at that, still beautiful. Put a thin layer on for the touch-ups. You can see I do a, an angled pass like that on a different angle. It's called the Gillette slide. And this one's called buffering. Just a blemish. Okay, I don't need anything. Let's check. No, don't see any weepers. Oh, that, that feels fine. Just rinse off the razor. So I'll take that blade out of the razor and clean up the razor with a toothbrush. Baby toothbrush, very soft. Oh, that feels wonderful. All right, so quick rinse. along the jawline. Just a couple of tingles here and there. It's a wonderful shave. All right, we'll rinse that off. Like I said before, if I don't rinse it off, be able to put the leftover lather on as a wash. Well, I can put it on, but it interferes with the, the lather, breaks it down, makes it all go lumpy. So I've got quite a bit of lather left over, probably for another pass or two, which is fine. Look at that shine there, lovely. All right, I'll just put this on my face, go and have my shower, come back to the post shave. Wonderful shave. Very smooth, no irritations, no weepers that I can see. Okay then, let's get straight into the post shave. We're going with the Imperial Bergamot. After shave lotion. There's no alcohol on this one. 
just burnt them on and I've got extra menthol crystals in it. Beautiful. And we put on a bit of the Lucky Tiger Vanishing Cream. Just getting down slowly. Very nice. Over the top of the head and the scalp, elbows. And then the final ingredient on my shave is the 4711 aftershave splash. As you can see, it's going down which is a lovely fresh scent, classical. Aroma. It's been going around since 17 something, 1780 or something. Uh, don't know, but a long time. <laughs> Okay, that's my shave of the day. Thank you all for watching, and we'll catch you on my next shave. Cheers!